Hey guys, and good morning. Happy Sunday. I hope you guys are blessed and well. I know y'all getting them kids ready to go back to school to buy a family masculine shoes. Summer, summer, summer time. It's over. It is over, but that suck, guys. Over oh, at the drums. Bring out the drums, mother. <laughs> The kids will go back to the school and you guys will get back to your regular routines, mother suckers. Yes, the vibe feel masculine. Let's get masculine. This happy family energy. I feel like somebody got custody of their children. Or you're getting custody of your kids. Somebody is going to be pissed because it seemed like um, it's it's been a long fight or something regarding... um. Maybe custody, but I feel, you know, I, I feel like this is a family that's already, this is a wife and a husband and children. Maybe there was some separation. Maybe there was some kind of, I don't know what this was. But the envy is, it's, it's someone that did not want you to have your family together. Okay. They wanted to have like a single parent home. Somebody wanted you to be in a single parent home or something like, oh, and it's a um, it's a family that's getting back together. We have the Sun card journey here. <clears throat> it's been a very long time coming here. You guys are under the same roof, and that is a blessing. You dig a rich gift? The thinking man in the reverse. And I feel like you're vlogging. Like you're, you have a YouTube channel or something. The thinking man is in the reverse. Let's see. So, y'all, you know what? I want to tell y'all this. When you're when you're married, angel of love, when you're married to someone and you have a family with that person, bro, the best thing is to actually be in the house together. Now, if you just have a marriage that just ain't going to work because somebody is trying to be manipulative, they're trying to take you out for money or something, then you just need to leave now, okay? Some stuff, some marriages I feel need to be worked out just simply because of the dynamic aspect of something, not necessarily saying, oh, this is traditional. No, it's the dynamic. Like, you know, you would want, if the mom and the father is alive and well, both parents should be in the house. You dig a real shit? That's how I feel about it. But, you know, it's, it's somebody that did not want you in the house with your children. This is just insane. Blossoming abundance. This could be somebody who... Maybe an ex to this person, or this person may got kids with someone else. Like, um, you're you you might got a child with your ex, and then you have a wife or a husband, and y'all got kids together. They wanted to break up your household. <laughs> Are you kidding? This person tried to keep you going back and forth in court or something like that. But I feel you had been praying about, you know, this family dynamic, Archangel Uriel, and you walked away from the traditional train of thought that you had at first like it's something here that you just say you know what nah i'm going to make this work or i don't risk rejuvenation i don't feel like you're forcing something to work i feel like you're just working things out and it seems like it's you know a force that's against you actions hostilities somebody wants to fight for this family dynamic like somebody wants not fight for it like fight to be together Somebody trying to literally fight for this. Like, somebody does not want you to be with this person. Healer of the ages. I'm hearing blended family. So, masculine. This divine masculine going to end up getting custody of this child. Like, if you, if this masculine energy has a wife and then a, another woman that he has a, a child with, this man is going to end up getting custody of that child, bringing that child, blending it with this, 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 this family here. Either way it goes, I see a home, a mother, a father, and children, period, is what I'm saying. <laughs> it's just, and look at the deceiving energy at the top of the deck. You see, oh my goodness. When I tell you somebody is so raged, like somebody is so furious about this, it don't make no sense. This woman is pissed, but see, you have a firm foundation. The thing of it is, this man and this woman both work. They both got good jobs. Divine Feminine, this this helpful been doing spell work on your womb. Like, she been doing spell work on this Divine Masculine sperm or something like that. She's literally, she's been, um, she's, she's been doing some kind of spell work. I'm hearing the word Takis. So, something about Takis is significant. Somebody, uh, child loves Takis. 
or you may have, they may have eaten them so much and you made them stop eating them. <laughs> you damn kids sneaking, eating Takis and shit, going to the ice cream truck and shit. <laughs> I will say you have failed horribly at preventing these children from eating Takis, okay? <laughs> they gonna still eat their Takis. I don't know who this is. But these children ain't playing about these Takis, okay? Balance. <laughs> Somebody doing research. Balance awareness in the reverse and you have movement choices, decisions reverse. Okay, so I feel just slow down and enjoy, embrace, just bask in, you know, the ambiance of this family unit. Whatever this is, and, and if this not has not happened yet, it's about to. I'm just saying something about a blended home, a serious spiritual prosperity. Like, even if you don't have any kids, like, you're going to be living in the house with children. Like, you're, 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 these are, um, you're a person's kids or something. And I feel like you're very excited about this. Whoever you are, you've been wanting to wait, wanting to wait. You've been waiting. You've been waiting, wanting to meet their kids. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Suffering in silence. I feel like these children are truly suffering in silence wherever they may be. This masculine knows this, though. Divine masculine knows it's something about, you know, um, the children not getting the proper nutrition or whatever this could be. Like, this, this woman is not truly taking care of these kids. I feel she was kind of jealous of divine feminists simply because, and then later on in life, memories of love reverse. Later on in life, they shock her. This person will get used to you, is what I want to say, Tim. Like, she'll get used to you. Like, she's not going to hold a grudge forever, but she's not going to be too happy about this. Passionate night in the reverse, victory and success. It's like she played all these games. Trying to take this person to court for child support or something. This is about to completely flip on this person. Like, she's going to lose custody entirely. I'm getting something about a DUI or something like that. Uh, mental conflict in the reverse. Foundation and achievements. Yeah, you... This, this person is struggling to prove that they have a stable foundation for these children or something. They're struggling to prove something. But it's it's like you've been you've been wanting this, like you've been literally praying, like God, please, I want my kids in the house with me, or you know, at least I want more visitation or something like that. Because I feel like somebody baby mama started acting funny, or or they baby daddy. Look, power, wish fulfillment, and then disruption. Child, look, the power. Somebody's baby mama or baby daddy was literally using these kids to block them, like this person didn't. They, they were not allowing you to see your kids or something. It could be kids with an S, but I feel like it's... It could be one child. Excuse me. Solar plus the chakra. Somebody is also about to have a huge financial breakthrough. So when this person try to claim you ain't got no bread or whatever the case is, this person don't know what you got. That's what I'm saying. They this This person has no idea what you have. I'm trying to figure out what this person feels like they know about your finances because this person is very confident that in court they will have some kind of victory and they're not. Because with your finances and your person's finances put together, this person has, they stand no chance. But see, it shouldn't even have to get this far, but hey, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying, fam? I'm like, whatever. But I'm saying somebody blended family and or fam, you could literally be single. With your kids and this masculine you haven't met yet or some, or your masculine is going through this, they're about to end up having full custody over their kids or some, or their kid. They're going to literally end up having full custody because this karmic energy cannot take care of these children. And it's like this person is going to jail for some. And um, this, this person was banking on the father not being able to get custody or something like that. She may have been trying to get her mom. Somebody was trying to give custody to their mom or something. But this person's mother is sick or something like that. So she's not able to take care of these kids. So they're going to go to the father. And this man, um, this this man is going to come towards you. They, they want to be in the house with you, period. Community in the reverse. This person feels like you're an excellent mother. They feel like you're more of an example to their kids than this bitch is. Exchanging gifts. What I said, child. Treasure Island here in deep knowing. So fam don't got no kids or something like that. And this this person, they, they just want to be with you. So 
whatever that may entail, but this person doesn't want any ties to this karmic. That's the thing. They want to make sure they have severed all ties with this person. So that would mean they're getting custody. They're, this person is fighting for custody. And they're going to get it. Trust that. Serendipity reverse. I heard God works in mysterious ways, and he does. <laughs> well, I'm telling you, my daddy will be in shit so quick, it's crazy. My dad will come in at the last minute and literally change something around. Bro, that's why I love my father, bro. For real. Loyal heart. Bless his soulmates in the reverse. I'm trying to tell you, the most high, when he come through, bro, my dad comes through unexpectedly, unannounced, because he can do that. And he will change something around. He will change a verdict around so quick, it's crazy. So this man, a lot of you guys, your your masculine or your feminine has been fighting a cusp, like they've been fighting for their kids or something. Here and now, because these children should be with their father or their mother or their mother and their father, okay? Like building blocks go the distance. Who in the world tries to stand in the middle of a mother and her children, a father and their children? Who does that? This Carmen does. Her and her mama, time for a nap. I feel like this was like some kind of, um, this was a tactic that they both were using to keep control of this divine masculine yang here. And there's the chaos and conflict. This person going to be pissed. You got to be fair, chaos. Bro, this person is going to be so pissed. They're going to be very angry when this judge claims, um, when this judge deems this man custody. And I mean, this is full custody. No place like home. <clears throat> and they're going to come to you. So they, they may already have divorced this karmic energy. There, There's already a divorce here. Period. Okay, here. It's a divorce already. And I feel like the custody is like up in the air. Like who's going to have the kids or something. What else is here, Dad? Thank you very much for the message. So, yeah, your, your person, they like, um, I want to be in the house with them and my kids. Like, this not the type of man that's going to abandon their kids. Like, this person has been fighting, I mean, for a minute in court with this karmic. They're trying to prove, this, this karmic is trying to prove something about this man's finances and stuff, but she doesn't know anything about this man's money. Courtship in the reverse. This is the horizon. Like I had told y'all before, maybe Vaseline didn't have no money like that or something. Look at imprisonment at the bottom of the day. Shout out trying to get this man locked up, but it's not going to happen like that. This is a false person. Somebody can see clearly that this person is fake. I feel like this karmic got family members that work in the court system some kind of way, or these people work like as correctional officers or something. They may work at police precincts. I don't know. Judication reverse, but whatever this is, not going to go in their favor. And this is not everybody's story. Like, this definitely is somebody's divine masculine. Like, if you are not married in a house with the kids already, this is your masculine going through this, okay? Or your feminine going through this. Definitely. Main male child. I'm trying to say this person is not coming down your way without their kids, period. They're trying to take their kids and go unexpected income. This man received some kind of unexpected. See, one thing about it is like you never know how God is working. This karmic was trying to hold something with these children over this man's head. This man is not leaving without his kids. That's the thing about it. Like, no, yeah, but I'm alive. No, yeah, but I'm good. I'm not. No, nah, I can take care of my kids. This, this karmic is trying to fight this person. And see, the thing of it is, this person is expecting sudden wealth. That's the thing about it. This person knows that God's going to work something out for them because what they're fighting for is a purpose. You don't, you know, just stop being a mom or a dad, bro. You fight for whatever you can fight. You you lose, you lose, but don't stop fighting is what I'm saying. You, know, you just never know how something will turn out. And it's something about somebody's finances. This karmic was trying to prove that this man didn't have no money. This karmic was doing all kind of spell work on this man. And like I said, if you're already married, blended in a home, you got a karmic energy here that's doing spell work to break up your household. But this, this man right here, 
it's something that they're not expecting. It's something that's going to happen. Like, this this person will see this major blessing coming or this is you. Yeah, it's about their kids. Child is out here talking. This person is not leaving without their kids. This That's just simple and plain. And, you know, this karmic energy been holding that against this man for a very long time because he left because he couldn't deal with her. He didn't want to deal with her shit anymore. Community and change. He wasn't about to deal with her shit with all these lies, all this spell work and stuff. All this threatening divine feminine or, I mean, just weird. Yeah. Unexpected income again. That's what I'm saying. This person is just losing. It. Like, this this karmic energy is a freaking loser, bro. I'm going to tell you that now. Like, the, the shit that she's been doing to this man is just unethical. Even in the reverse, she's been trying to get this man locked up. She's been trying to lure this man in. And whoever this masculine energy is, he be watching me for sure. Because I keep telling masculine, stay away from me, bitch. She's trying to get you locked the fuck up. This man is not going nowhere near this house <laughs> at all. And see, this man got documents. He has literal documents of this karmic keep getting him locked up or threatening you or something like that. It's so much evidence that he has on this karmic. It's crazy. And sis thought this man was broke. I thought he was going to be broke or can't, you know, accomplish something. And she's just not. This this person has thought completely wrong. Okay. I feel like this masculine energy definitely was dabbling in some low vibrational energy because of this karmic in her lifestyle or something. And there's the gift. But this person has went their own way. They awaken. And this person is trying to, you know, gain back their divinity or something. I don't feel like this person sold their soul. This person just, they sold you out. Like they, they, they walked away from you. Message. The way that this person is going to come towards you is crazy. Yeah, because they want to marry you. So this could be somebody that you're already familiar with. And I feel like you're going to say yes. But like I said, too, if you're already married, this um this ex of your persons, they're 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 sending spell work at you, chaos magic and shit. And like I said, I said that in another reading. Journey. This person don't be just breaking up with your person, y'all. Because this person is sending some heavy shit towards you. And it's not working. And that's the thing, it's not going to work. You have to come back. This spell work. You're you ain't ever gonna be a poverty bad heaven. So um, Whatever this karmic was trying to send your way, it's going back to them. And I feel like this masculine energy is trying to get these kids away from this person. Or get this child away from this person before their karma hits. Because this person is about to receive horrible karma. I mean, this person's karma is so bad, it's crazy. And um, divine masculine, it's, it's something about this masculine. This masculine don't play about his children, bro. That's just period. And, and then whatever absence that was that was had here it was because she this this girl either done got this man locked up or she was literally telling him he can't come nowhere near her house or the kids this bitch done had a restraining order this person done put some kind of order of protection <laughs> you know that if this man come anywhere near these kids he'll go to jail for trespassing or something trying to see his kids like this this bitch did that on purpose to have leverage over this masculine but something's coming back to haunt this person. This bitch gonna end up going to jail. I'm telling you. But it's something here about court and jail. This masculine, this is this is their energy. Them trying to fight for their kids and the fact that they don't want to be in this house or they can't come to this home or something. They may have two children with this karmic. Or maybe one and the other one is not theirs or something. But if this man goes anywhere near these, not the kids, but like this home or this person, they're trespassing or something. And this person is going to get arrested. And that's what this karmic wants. They want this man to go to jail because they know they're coming towards you. Wow. But something is literally about to go completely different. The work that this, putting, the, the work that this person is putting in is not going to work. And see, I don't got no respect for no... It's females like this. I don't got respect for these. be slapped the fuck out. Like, calling police on a nigga and shit. That shit is not cool. Lying. Talking about motherfuckers that hit you and all that shit. You're lying. You 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 simply up here lying. Look, I can't make it up. <laughs> Part of the day. Never has the fast lies make shit up. Yeah. You're lying on this person. Somebody's been lying on a masculine. 
and getting him locked up every time you turn around. And it's like, if this person goes to jail one more time, they're not going to get out or something like that. But this is a copycat. This is somebody who's been trying to impersonate divine fucking family. This person been lying on this feminine, lying on this man. All these lies are catching up. One thing my dad don't... It's a lot of shit I feel like my dad can forgive. But a motherfucker that's just lying and slandering somebody. Bro, do you not know how a lie can ruin someone's life? A lie? I don't think my dad likes liars, bro. In fact, I know my daddy don't like liars. Liars. Lies, slander, and blasphemy. I just feel that's like something my dad will really hold over your ass right here. For real. And this karmi is atheist or something. And it's like this man wants his children to be raised completely different than they were. It's Somebody sees a cycle. This masculine energy sees a pattern of something going on. We, they see a pattern like, okay, yeah, I saw this when I was growing up. Or, you know, I'm going to change the trajectory here. This is what this man is saying or this woman is saying. Like, yeah, nah. It should be with me and if we ain't gonna be together they need to be with me because i know you you know what i'm saying like i know you ain't you ain't got it all like you ain't got it all like this this karmic energy depends on their mother a lot like um crying over you in the reverse like they depend on their mom a lot meaning like this this karmic is not sick or anything like they're not in a position to where they just cannot take care of the kids it's like they don't want to this person's drug habits and them working and things take over and then when they do got these kids, they they neglect them to stalk you and shit. Like, they give them popcorn and juice and throw their ass in the room. Or something like that to stalk you, to watch you, you know, leave them home to come follow you and see what the fuck you're up to here. Girl fight. Look, and this person also was doing something here to cyber bully you on the internet. Like, all of this is going to come out. This masculine knows way more than he's telling you. But see, he has a plan. This person is very intelligent. Trauma starter. They may have been stupid for walking away from you. What I said, him. But this person definitely has been holding a grudge against themselves for that. Trust me. Okay. 2222. Trust me and believe that. This person has been holding grudges against themselves because they let their ego. You know, and I feel like they chose this person over you simply because they have children there and they just did not want to leave their kids. Like, because walking this divine path, sometimes you got to leave your own children behind. But the goal, when you are on this path to, you know, finding yourself, figuring out what's what, you have to be alone. That don't mean that it's forever. Sometimes you have to remove yourself because of the warfare. Okay, here. And when you love certain people enough, you love them enough to walk away and not drag them through some shit with you. Waiting is in the reverse. And people are not going to understand it. And I don't feel like you have to explain that shit to nobody. Somebody going to try to come out saying that you don't fuck with your kids or something. Because they want you to look bad. Somebody literally wants you to look bad to other people. And in a courthouse situation on paper, you look damn good to me. Like whoever you are, your, your money right there thing, this person's going to get pissed. I'm telling you. This masculine been fighting for his kids. That's what it is, fam. They're going through something with this karmic energy. And the simple fact that this karmic's goal, what they're working on is to get them locked the fuck up. That's bizarre. Forcer. They're trying to get this masculine, divine masculine. I'm going to tell you right now, don't go to this girl's house. I wouldn't give a fuck what this is. Don't show up over here. She's trying to get you locked up. This is a thief. This is a spiritual hater. This is somebody who definitely is trying to bring issues to a family dynamic. I don't care what it could be. In, in fact, this divine masculine is very, very intuitive anyway. He knows better. And then some of these men finding out that they got a restraining order put on them. They didn't even know. You dig a issue? Like, if you didn't get served no papers, I don't see how the hell you knew about it. But whatever. I don't see if you were never served how they going to arrest you. But whatever. But, like, I feel this karmic, this karmic got family members that's like police officers or something. 
She wants to be this divine feminine. She wants to be a mother, the kind of mother this feminine is. Like she, she wants to be favored like this feminine. She wants to be gifted like this feminine. This bitch is not, child please. This, this bitch is a thief. Sis be stealing everything, trying to talk like this feminine and everything, child. And this masculine, this this person has moved on, but it's like something ain't sitting right with them leaving their kids behind because they know this karmic. And they may have even spoken to these kids. This person might be watching their kids from afar. This person could have even had a dream or something about this karmic neglecting them or abusing them some kind of way. And it's, it's just like, they're, they're like, yeah, I'm leaving, but first, let me make sure I get my kids. And it's something that they've been fighting in court. This person has just been praying, hoping that you stay single or something like that. Like, for some of you guys, this masculine, they want you to stay single because they want you to wait for them. Because they know y'all belong together, but they're trying to get their kids. This person is not going to stop fighting for their children, and I don't blame you. For sure, I don't, masculine. Okay. fed up this person is fed up because see if this person does not fight for their kids they'll just be stuck in this same karmic cycle this karmic using the kids against them you know um calling the police every time they try to come visit their kids this person got a restraining order like how I, I mean that's very toxic and they're into you it seems like this karmic is slick gay or you know whatever the hell this this person is into you as well i don't know what the fuck this is but this person is fed up they know their time is up this, this person knows that their time is up. This masculine thinks about you a lot, fam. But it's it's time for something. Something is coming. It, and it's time for something. Like, y'all focus on the same frequency, period. And if this guy's under your life, fam, walking away from toxic families or exes or whatever the fuck, and this man is about to get custody of his kids. I keep telling y'all, bro, God works in a serious way. But masculine, look at this. You better pay the fuck attention, okay? This person's goal is to have you locked up. It's like all they need is you to be around, for sure. This person knows it's over with with y'all. This this controlling, manipulative bullshit fuck, this is over. Using the children against you, that's over. <clears throat> Excuse me. That portion of it is over, period. Yeah, that's all this person does is think of you, fam. This person thinks about you all the time. And it really hurts this person that they can't be with you. But they know the time is coming up soon. And the reason why they, they were not about to involve you in this at all. This is a messy divorce or a messy ass custody battle, period. And then this bitch right here would have tried to attack divine feminist finances. The whole would have, you know, been doing all this shit, trying to fight them and all this shit, trying to impersonate them, but then turn around and want money from them for child support. This masculine has been weighing out all of their options. They're like, well, if I go towards the vibe film, I know she's going to take both of our money. So let me just get my, like, it's, this person knows God going to work something out. They don't mind waiting. But masculine, I'm telling you, if you show up to this person's house for anything at all, they're going to get you locked up. And it will be a waste of time. They're setting you up. And as long as you've known this karma, you should know their tactics. This person is narcissistic. You should know this person's tactics by now, is what I just heard. And then I feel like this karmic is wasting time because you're not going to jail. Like, But somebody in this energy, I told y'all these fake emergencies. Be careful with these fake-ass emergencies and shit, fuck, okay? I'm just trying to tell you. Be careful with this here because somebody's playing. They they, they truly, yeah, you're going to reject with them. And this person ain't alone doing something. This person is not by themselves planning this. Like, it's somebody mama. Somebody mama is messy as fuck. Like, this marriage been over three years ago. And this karmic energy is steadily trying to hold on to this man by using these children in jail. It's like, if he ain't in the house doing what she want him to do, babysitting these kids or something. Because this man is babysitting them. He's, she's not allowing this man to be no actual father. It's like she was keeping something over this masculine. She was literally keeping something over this person's head. And he like, okay, well, you want to play? You don't know me like that. This man plays chess. This man is very intelligent, very gifted. And he wants a real fucking boss that ain't going to be trying to get him locked up and, and beating on him and shit. This bitch definitely be beating on this man. 
and she be lying, claiming that he put his hands on her, and he's and she's lying. This man ain't ever put his hands on her. He probably done whooped these kids, and because they done did some shit, but and, and it might be some little boys or something right here. That I don't feel like this man has ever beat these children or beat this permit. These kids have gotten whoopings before, yes. But um, as far as this person just being an abusive person, no, that's not the case. This person is like, it's always their word against his. Maybe this person already has a record or they already had a record. Look at this ain't shit bitch creeping, watching Divine Feminine, this happiness fucking hater. This person is cheating with this man's brother or his cousin or something anyway, or his friend. I heard his music producer. The fuck? She's fucking the nigga that's making this man's beats and... She's mad at him. And then most of the time that she was getting this person locked up, it was because she was just tired of having to cheat. Like, sneak around. She wanted him locked up so that she could, you know, fuck his friend or his producer in peace. Acting cold. This man is finding out a lot about this part. This is very sad, truly, because it's like he's finding out late. After the damage was already done, like the damage has already been done. And a lot of y'all masculines, this this person is fighting with a karmic <clears throat> that <clears throat> they ain't saying much to this person at all. They they not saying much because it's really truly nothing to say. They're unbothered. This masculine got eyes all around whoever you are. This masculine got some bread. This this person thought that this masculine was broke or something. I'm hearing step in the name of love. This person gonna step in the name of love for sure. Somebody named Stephanie or Steven, Stefan, Stefano. Garlic is significant. Garnish, garnish is significant. This this karmic is trying to make sure this man life is turned upside down. But see, the thing of it is, simply because you guys have a twin flame connection, that's what's protecting your masculine as well from all of these legal issues. I don't feel like they're doing spell work or anything. Definition of abuse is rough. Like I don't feel like they're doing spell work or anything. I just feel like this shit is completely blocked because the most high knows that he created this person for you. So this person is they're they're covered with your protection as well. They're trying to get these kids away from this karmic. This karmic is not gonna get any offers, like any bond. Like like I said, it's somebody that they got in their family like this this person is a police officer or or something i don't feel like they're a judge or anything like that but they may have lost their job or they're about to this karmic has put a lot of people in jeopardy and they're also going broke so whatever this is that this karmic is going to jail for this is going to trigger something in the court system and it's going to be a whole lot of shit that falls down afterwards because i feel like this person has a warrant they got a warrant for something completely different. This person don't even understand that motherfuckers are snitched on her stupid ass. These same dumb bitches or these family members, whoever these hoes and niggas is that they were working with with something, they all snitched on her. She don't even know that it's a warrant out for her arrest. Wow. For trying to call a hit on this family. Yeah. This this person don't even know this warrant is, is here. They may have had a, a dream about it, a nightmare or something. They, they could have dreamt about this, but they like, well, how could that be? Because, you know, I got family in the judicial system, you know? But this, that, that, no, hell no. This karmic energy really, they did a number on this masculine. And it's something about divine masculine. This person, this was a part of their path was to run into this karmic go through this and learn the lesson but they want their kids that's just period this person wants their kids karmic or not they want their children and you i mean you can't blame a man for wanting their kids like you just can't bro you, you can't blame a person for wanting their children for wanting to be with their kids bro it's a certain way that this person wants their children to be raised. But see, they thought, this this person thought completely wrong. If they thought that this karmic was going to be the perfect mother, the perfect whoever. Ain't nobody perfect for one. But this, per, this karmic energy ain't been doing shit but spell work the whole time. They've known this damn masculine. 
they've done spell work on this masculine the entire time they've known them like every anytime this person got upset if they wanted them to do something um and then they've been hindering this person like this person was supposed to be on years ago like if this is like a music producer or a rapper or a singer an actress or an actor or something this person was supposed to been on years ago this karmic held them back from that shit i'm telling you they wanted to be the sole breadwinner of something like this karmic may have money or they may have a really good job really good pension whatever the case is well, they had this shit. They're about to lose everything from what they were doing to Divine Feminine. Like, they've been trying to destroy this feminine, and they're losing everything. So, it's just like, yeah, you did all of that shit for no reason. But, the catch of all of this is, this person is still going to live in their calling, but with their Divine Feminine. This person is supposed to have a Ten of Cups, but with their Divine Masculine or, or Feminine, not you. And it, I mean, regardless of who had kids or who don't have kids, this is a blended home I'm picking up on. This is a blended family. I feel Divine Feminine either does not have kids and he's bringing his kids with him or his son or whatever this is with you. And y'all gonna have kids. Either way, it's blended. Okay, here, just period. This karmic is gonna be permanently put out of the picture because she's not going to have custody all of these bro when i tell you all of these false ass reports that she was making on this man claiming that he hit her or something like that claiming that he was trespassing claiming all of this crap lying on divine feminine like this is a lot this this person is about to pay heavily for all of this i'm telling you they've been doing something very very low down and it was all simply because they were envious of this feminine. And they still are. And it's like, oh, you think she gonna be around my kids? Or he think he gonna be around my kids or something like that. And it's just like, sis, you're not even around your kids. You don't even want your kids around. Like, okay, why are you making your children suffer because you're envious? That don't even make no sense. It's like, who sits up here getting their baby daddy locked up? Like, who gets a baby mama lot like you you sitting up here you, you you're allowing your children to watch this person be arrested every time they turn around they dad is in handcuffs like what type of shit is that these children got their own discernment and intuition these children got their own mind they know what's up you cannot convince these children because they're watching everything they see everything you've done and everything you're doing now and these kids is even sick of your shit these kids are tired of this party for a lot of y'all, these these children are like, somebody is like, well, who you want to stay with your mom or your dad? I want to stay with my dad. I don't want to stay here with this person. This person don't even feed these children. They She let them run wild and all kind of shit. This man don't want his children raised like that. So what was he supposed to do? Just walk away? Knowing that this person is not, this person ain't got it all together. And, or some other man was going to come in and be some kind of influence, good or bad, to their, these kids. I don't feel like this is just a bad man. This is not no horrible father. It's the karmic and this person's relationship is toxic. That's what I'm picking up on. I'm picking up on that if the dynamic with the with the mother and the father wasn't toxic, this would be a happy family. Like, it would be a ten of cups. But there's too much that has happened with this man and this woman that is just simply not going to work. This person has done too much shit. That's what they, this man has went to jail numerous times. This woman has went to jail numerous times due to this karmic. And they were doing that, trying to build up a paper trail on this person. Look, the Ten of Cups. Door to romance. I can't make this up. Bottom of the deck. I cannot make it up, fam. That's for me. Sure. I could never make up nothing like this. That's just what it is. And this person going to come to you and tell you everything that we're going to... But it's like, they have to stay away from you. For a lot of you guys, this person ain't got no choice but to stay away. Because it's not like they're trying to play it safe. This person is being smart. They're being smart about something. Like, look, Your Honor, I've been here. I've been doing this. I've been, you know, this person got their shit together. When they go to court, oh, trust and believe me, they're not leaving court without their kids, is what I'm saying. This karmic gonna be looking stupid. And it's something about this person doing IT or something and their mom being sick. 
This person mama done did so much motherfucking spell work that she's literally sick. It's like the mama got sick out of nowhere and this Carmen got to take care of her mom or his mom. This shit came out of nowhere. It's because you keep doing spell work. What the fuck did you, I mean, what did you think right here? I'm going to leave it right here, fam, asking it. Remember that God loves you and so do I. Bye, guys.